Hey guys, welcome back to Skyrim Legendary Survival. Last time we were together, we got out of Bleak's Falls Barrow, found the Dragonstone, the first word of power of the Fusroda, and now we are here in the beautiful city hold of Skyrim. Or, Whiterun. I messed that up epically. We're in Whiterun right now, and I have to say this place is absolutely beautiful so first things first we're gonna make I know that's where I'm heading you dumb idiot so we're gonna be heading over to here to Belthor's goods I have to say oops no we don't want to do that um, here's one trick to if you guys do it now the stores the game says they open up at 7 but I generally tend to wait at until 8 now if you're standing right in the front of the door, it's gonna say, you know, it's adept, it's locked. So basically, the trick I do is just keep walking back and forth and eventually it should go back to normal. But I'm guessing since he's, it's still locked, he hasn't actually entered the store. I think that's him right there. Yeah, that's Bellathor right there, so he actually hasn't even entered the store yet. So in the meantime, we are gonna go to... Arcadia's cauldron because we need the cure potion to get rid of that disease we have right now. Okay. I know if you see anything you like. Uh, everything really. You look rather pale. Could be a taxia. What have Take you got for sale? Someone just entered in the door behind me. So we need. Okay, so she does have a potion of cure. Does you want two hundred forty-five gold for that? This is extortion! Extortion at its highest level! Ah, so you're an alchemist? Okay, well, we need to buy one. What? Seriously, lady, that's ex. That's extortion! So let's just drink that potion and just get over it. So we're finally now cure of our disease. And, oh yeah, I want to head back to the blacksmith. Or, we can actually head up to the Skyforge because there's some stuff we can use there. No, we need to head over here. What? Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing? And what of my son, hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about Tired suffering. Of still had enough of fish and fire. Your son chose his side and he chose poorly choice, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. I will never accept his death. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborns, where is he? Where are you holding my forehead? <laughs> Do you believe this old hat? Chops and steaks fit for a Jarl. Holy him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, cow. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm cloaked traitor. And you, you best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, father. There's nothing more to be said here. Had enough of fish and fowl? Treat yourself and your kids. Okay, that was an interesting conversation. I'm sorry if you can hear my AC at the moment. It's Texas, so it's very hot here, so. And I really can't avoid where it is. I think it died now, now. So anyways, that is a quest we can do eventually, but for right now, I want to head over here and use this workbench. Oh, that AC is really starting to annoy me. Okay. And now we've improved all of our gear right here. And can we improve our swords as well? Move out of the way, lady. Ancient Nord Bow. We'll increase that. And we got some swords that we can increase. Okay. And... Okay, so that, that does 20 damage. Okay. So we got some weapons we can actually sell to this lady. Where are you? Got some good pieces up. What have you got for you sale? Yourself or deal some damage. Uh, we're looking to sell, so we need to go to our weapons. Okay, we want to keep that weapon. We want to sell the hunting bow because we have no more use for it. Uh, sell the mace and the sword. Uh, sell that. 
so that and I think that's the rest we're gonna keep unless if we have some other type of apparel nope okay so we're now gonna go back to items and apparel we're gonna have that equipped just in case uh, what here did we not have that we needed okay so we got that equipped I thought there was something else that we were missing hmm I don't think so so we now got some upgraded gear we're not exactly the most greatest character but we got some pretty good gear we need to buy a house and not one of these houses like one of the DLC ones that comes with the Hearthfire DLC we need to get one of those houses because building those houses levels up your smithing skill really quickly so we want to get over there as soon as possible yeah don't we all okay Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Why are you begging? It's... It's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since... Since Mama. Since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but... I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. Aww. Until next time. So she is one of the f um, four orphans that you can adopt. There are more at the school, or not the school, the orphanage in Riften? Yeah, in Riften. You can adopt kids from there in Riften, or you can actually adopt any of the other kids that are in this game, but both of the parents need to be dead. And I'm not that evil that I would do that. Though there have been some cases like uh, in Riverwood, like Alvor's and Sigrid's child. Um, you know, I've had a case where a dragon attacked and both of them were killed. And so that would have been nice to have been adopt her. But the DLC wasn't out then, so she was kind of running around the house. Bored. But we are now inside Dragon's Reach. Oh, hello. You want to talk to me, don't you? I just... Who's this, then? What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruff is not receiving visitors. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on, then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yes, I did. Next time, deal with Avanichi. So, you were at Helgen. You saw yes, I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cough. I, I always picked this option right here. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. The Yarl of Valkyrie will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Yarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Awesome. Now, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. But isn't that the same thing? Dragons and then rumors of dragons? Friends, you must help me. 
We need to convince my brother to do more for the boy. What would you have me do, Far and guys, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Just tell me what you need me you to do. You are eager to begin your adventure. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done, eh? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Oh, you mean this old stone? Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes they are foists on me. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind. Sadly undervalued in Skyrim. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. What is it, Irelith? Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon has been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth. You'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the Dragon Stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Yeah, you don't strike me as caution. You strike me as something else that I just can't put a name to. But I tell you, you know what? I'll show you caution. I'll show you stupidity! Hey! Okay, that didn't work as well as I wanted it to. So before we go, we're gonna equip some of our stuff. Oh, yeah, now I understand something I want to do with my... Um... Smithing skill. We need to get it to level 50. Because I realized that we just got the iron... You know, the iron helmet of minor destruction, which is a nice thing. But the problem with it is we can't upgrade it. So our current helmet is actually better 
than what we're using right now. But he did give us something else that was useful. Yeah, he gave us a steel armor, which is going to give us plus four. So we're now a little bit better. And this one's going to be minus one. Destruction spells are 12% less to cast. We actually could destroy this and get the uh, enchantment for it so we can put it on later. Oh, shoot. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Sorry, guys, about that. Oh, shoot. We're in the water. Sorry about that pause. Uh, I spilled a soda. And I needed to clean it up before it stained the carpet. So, let's see. So, we got our new armor piece. We need to go to uh, the smithing table to upgrade it a bit. You've done everything, my friend. Oh, man. Come on. Let us over this. Yes, we need to get to the lady and talk to her before she starts talking to the troops. Hello. What have you got for I sale? Don't think looking to protect yourself? Or do um, you what do you have? Weapons, weapons. Ooh, you definitely charge a lot for this, but we need all those arrows right now. Ooh, and you had an orcish bow. The dragon is attacking the western watchtower. A dragon? for it. Heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But Housecarl, how could we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you're so dead. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it! The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age! The glory of killing it is ours! If you're with me! Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah! Damn right! Yeah. Let's move out. Okay, you guys do that. I'm gonna stay here and kind of get off the bench. I I need to use it. Okay, steel armor. We're gonna upgrade that. So now we got some more goodies on us. Now she had a my father the finest weapons and armor. Yes, I know. You had an orcish bow. Where was it? Ah, there you go. Orcish bow. Ooh, wow. That is one dandy weapon. Um, but it's not that much. Let's see. Uh, we need our Nord bow. So that one says it was 16. What's our Nord bow at? So it's only actually two better. So it's actually not that great. So we're going to ignore it and we're going to go chase after them because we need to get some more money. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to clear my throat right into the mic. But anyway. So now we're going to go kill our first dragon. And now dragons will be unlocked across the land and they will try and kill us. Fantastic. Did they already make it way ahead of us? Oh no, they're just right there. Just Irolith. Where are the troops that you had with you? Did they all chicken out? The glory of the killing the dragon was all yours? It's like, hey Irolith, yeah, you can have the glory of the killing the dragon all to yourself. We're just, uh, gonna hide over here. And not help you at all. Just have fun fighting that dragon by yourself. But... Also, oh wait, we got skill points that we can use. Let's see, can we increase our archery yet? No, we still can't increase our archery. Man, I really want to increase the archery. One hand is also another skill tree that I want to increase. Now for the time being, we're going to be over here. 
I love how the fires load in just as we get here. It's kind of funny. Aerolith? Hello? Oh, there you are. Where the hell is everybody else? Oh, there's there's one. There's two. There's Joe. There's Schmo. There's Alfred. And there's Alfredo. Looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, spread out and look for survivors. Yeah, this tower got wrecked. I wonder what it would look like if it wasn't wrecked. Because I tried visiting this area before I did that mission and it was still wrecked. Or maybe it wasn't, I don't know. I think it still is. Hello? No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Godman, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes! Find cover, and make every arrow count! Talk about anti-dramatic. Well, there's our first dragon. Where is he? Where is he? This is gonna be a hard fought battle. Where is he going? Where is he going? What is he doing? He like just dropped down and then went away. Who's Nelvor? I, did one of our men go down? I can't tell. Whoa, hello. Where, oh where is the dragon? Come on. Show me what you got, dragon. Did one of our men go down? Okay, it is time to go in, boys. Sorry, I had to scratch my eye. Ah! Uh, we need potions, we need potions, we're about to die. Heal, 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 heal. Alright, come on. We need to get back into this fight. Oh boy, we're in big trouble. He's, he's getting ready to hit us again. Come on, heal, 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 heal. Come on. Yes. We won. We killed the dragon. Sorry I got quiet there, it was just because that was a real concentrating moment where talking just kind of distracted me. But anyways, so now we get to pick up some really good stuff from this thing. Oh yeah, we're going to take... Oh, please tell me we can take this stuff. Um, Nothing else is good, so... Oh. That guard is dead. 
Come on. Oh, don't freeze on me. Thank you. How many did the guards die? It's like they're all dead. Which is kind of okay with me because I get to pick up all their gear, but... Okay, it's only two of... Oh, no. Three of the five survived. Okay, um... It wants us to use our new shout power, which is unrelenting force. Oof. Anybody gonna talk to me? They're just all staring at me. We taught that dragon not to mess with White Run, didn't we? So no comment. Okay. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Well, you can shout now. You couldn't before, right? That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They are just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerleth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yerleth. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon. And that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting, what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. Well, anyways, guys, I think that is all we have the time for today. So, anyways, this is our first Dragon Kill, and this is absolutely awesome. So, guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Skyrim Legendary Survival, please leave a comment and like down below. You know, a like if you got the time, a comment if you have even more. But anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode in Skyrim Legendary Survival. And until next time, the adventure continues.